COVID-19 first alert forecast. Certified most accurate since 2004. Tell you what, on a day like today, maybe a hot cup of coffee, some cocoa yeah. would probably be the drink of choice. It's going to feel cool out there, especially this afternoon, and maybe a little bit of a shock compared to the warm temperatures we've seen recently. But yeah, cold front moving through and maybe some warm beverages, not necessarily a bad idea today. I'll get my As it's going to be feeling like fall. Yeah, pumpkin spice cider. Well, maybe a little bit too early for that. But either way, it's going to be a lot cooler out there. Not going to look like fall, but definitely feel like it this afternoon. Temperatures right now are at their warm part of the day, but they'll be dropping as we head into the afternoon. So 70s this morning turning into 60s this afternoon here on the last day of June, and that's because we have a strong front pushing through. We'll have a pretty stiff breeze as well. Northwest wind 15 to 25 miles per hour gusts up to 35 miles per hour at times and quite a bit of cloud cover today as well. We'll see if we can sneak in some sunshine from time to time. I would say the clouds are going to hold longest and definitely be the thickest right near and along those lake shore areas, so not necessarily necessarily what we would think of as a late June summery day, but either way you can see temperatures right now in the low to mid 70s on any normal summer day. We'd say, yeah, this is a warm start. We're going to be heating up, but that front that's been pushing through is putting an end to that and you can see our wind direction and those winds already picking up Lorraine, Elyria and Cleveland, a 16 mile per hour wind right from the north right now. Those other winds so from the north to northwest so that cold front's been passing through. These winds will pick up and the cold front is also taking shower chances away from it, so we'll stay dry today. No risk for severe weather, but as we zoom out, you can see as that front passes while wow, those temperatures are responding. 40s up in Marquette, Michigan, very chilly up there. Some 50s too from Minneapolis to Green Bay, and you can see here down even towards Grand Rapids, Chicago now at 60, but Fort Wayne dropping, and you can see Cleveland and Buffalo. Those temperatures beginning to drop as that front pushes through as well. So first alert future view showing a dry day. Clouds will be holding, but temperatures in the 60s this afternoon. Exception to that will be our far southern county. We'll likely hold on to the 70s a bit longer down towards Canton and Dover, but either way, a cool feel and a pretty cool start to the day tomorrow, if not even a chill in the air. Temperatures in the low to mid 50s, but a beautiful day tomorrow. I know we wish that could be today. We're going to see lots of sunshine on your Monday. Temperatures low to mid 70s. Humidity will be dropping, by the way, today and stays low tomorrow as well, so it'll feel really nice and crisp out there. And then even as we head overnight into Tuesday morning, we're going to stay quiet. Temperatures in the 50s to near 60s again. Now Tuesday afternoon will start to warm back up to the 80s, but the humidity is going to stay low until the middle of the upcoming week. So as we take a look at our next seven days, 70s this morning, 60s this afternoon with the wind. Also, the wind means that there's a high risk for rip currents today, so swimmers advised to stay out of the water. Tomorrow we will see lots of sunshine. Tuesday mostly sunny as well, back to 85, but still not humid. 90 degrees on Wednesday, and then we'll stay seasonable after that. Now rain chances, at least scattered storms, returning Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Not a washout on any one day. So the weather team here, we're going to have our work cut out for us because everybody wants to know how is this going to impact on my festivities and fireworks. We will have to time that out as new data comes in, but we do have those storm chances in play, and then rain chances do look to trend downward as we head towards the start of the weekend with temperatures staying in the 80s and the humidity will stay up as well.